Let's see here. Okay, good deal. Um, this is going to be me reading a sample text in Latin. I'm going to try to type it in um, below the video. It just comes out of Oxford Book 3. Uh, I just grabbed a random passage so that I could kind of read it. Uh, I wrote the paragraph up on the board, and uh, what I'm going to do is something I do with my 10th grade students. Um, when I read through the Latin, I'll actually point out the words. Um, hopefully you can see them clearly enough. Um, so I'll, I'll read through it in Latin, then I'll, then I'll kind of show you what, what happens when you translate, i.e. what happens when your subject is here and your verb is here, uh, when, again, we've got a subject here, participle, verb, uh, ablative of means or manner, uh, subject, ablative absolute, or no, that's not, never mind, it's just a participle with an ablative. Um, anyway, so you can kind of see how we jump around when we put it into English. So... Uh, that's what we're trying to do in this lesson. Again, I'll try to put the text, macron, and everything else down in the bottom <coughs> linked. <coughs> One thing that uh, I want to point out, it's something that uh, I try to get my students to learn, is the way that you accent in Latin, the rules for Latin accenting. And they're basically simple. Um, you never accent on the last syllable, um, barring there are always going to be exceptions, but you don't accent on the last syllable. What you do is you go to the second to last syllable. So I'm just going to grab um, a word that I hope appears pretty clearly right here. Quire bater. So you go to the second to last syllable. And if it's long, either because it has a macron on it, or because it's a diphthong, or because it's long by position, which means it has two consonants following it, then it'll take the accent. So for example, this one, it has a long A, bater. It would take it. So it'd be quire bater. Uh, same thing here, our verb is akurit, last syllable, go to the second to last syllable, ur, right there, or kur. Um, you have two r's, that's a double consonant, so that would take the, the uh, pardon me, that would take the accent akurit. Uh, how about this one? The word is nobili, nobili. We have last syllable, come to the second to last syllable, b, b i, short i. There's an L, just a single consonant, so we go back to the third syllable. So it would be nobly, not nobili. Um, here's another one, um, arkesiwit, second to last syllable. It's a long I, so it would take the accent. Uh, ingressus here at the very end, I-N-G-R-E-S-S-U-S, -S -S, uh, entering or having entered. Um, second to last syllable, gress. We have two consonants, a double consonant, so that would take it. <laughs> Again, if it's not long by either position um, or by nature, what we call it by nature, then it'll go three back, like nobly, um, if it's short. Okay, let's see if I can find you another quick example here. Uh, here's another one. <clears throat> the verb is respond. So sec uh, last syllable, second to last syllable, ER, no, that's a short E and just a single consonant, so it would go here. Responderate. Responderate. It's a long syllable we're talking about here, not a long vowel. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just read this off like I would, <clears throat> excuse me, in my Latin class. I've been sick, so hopefully that doesn't mess it up. Here we go. Just starting at the top line. Quintus in aerario laborabat, cum senator quidem ingressus eum magna voce accursivit. Quintus, negotiis occupatus, non statimareum occurrit. Ille vir nobili genere natus, abesus erat et arrogans. Quae rebatur, quod quintus non negotis relictis areum responderat. Festina scriba, inquit, noli morari, uh, morari, yeah, that's right, <laughs> non possum totem diem cassare. Okay, so I'm not saying that's brilliant or great, uh, but I'll read it again, maybe just a, a little slower. So you can hear where the accents are and then the individual vowels. So here we go. Quintus in aerario laborabat cum senator quidem ingressus eum magna voce arcesivit. Quintus negotis occupatus non statem reum occurrit. Ille vir nobili genere natus. Abesus erat et arrogans. Quae rebatur, quod quintus non negotis relictis adeum responderat. Festina scriba, inquit, noli morari, non possum totem diem cassare. 
it's just standard paragraphing, and the first one's maybe a little more like what you hear. And I just imagine um, when I speak Latin, I just imagine of uh, I imagine like Spanish, or if you can hear Italian or something like that. Just kind of the flow of how it sounds. It shouldn't sound super wooden. Uh, you you know you do want your students to inflect for emotion. Like here, Festina, Scriba, you know, hurry up, scribe, is what he's saying, so you can put a little uh, emphasis in it. No rimorare, no impasso, tot in diem casare. Like, I don't have all day to wait, so, you know, you can uh, to do it accordingly. So I'm just going to go through and translate it then quickly, uh, just pointing out the different uh, bits. So here we go. Quintus uh, was working in the treasury when a senator, senator quidem, some senator, a senator, um, entered and uh, uh, addressed him with a loud voice. Horace, or Quintus, busy with his responsibilities, did not um, immediately uh, respond, run up to him. Um, and this guy, the senator, Ile, uh, was a, nobly, a man of noble birth, a highborn guy. He was obesus, he's fat, and arrogant. Uh, he was upset or fussing um, because, oh, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, quiero, uh, bother. He was bothered, quiero, quiero, he was, he was bothered. Yeah, there we go. He was bothered because Quintus had not, leaving everything behind, I would have absolute, uh, answered him. Hurry up, scribe, he said. Don't wait. I don't have all day to wait around. Okay, so that would be uh, just a little paragraph reading that. Uh, I hope that's helpful for just Latin pronunciation, things like that. Again, I'll, uh, I'll type it up so you can see it and maybe hear those uh, things. So anyway, thank you guys so much for uh, watching the videos. I really appreciate it. I, of course, if you have any requests, let me know. I try to get them up uh, sooner rather than later. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.